Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today is a follow-up video from my last video about speeds and feeds on the Onefinity CNC behind me. So thank you to everyone who commented and all the great suggestions I got. I am doing a follow-up to that video with different wood species to show how the feeds and speeds interact with the wood itself. So I really appreciate all the feedback. Giving the comments does help the channel a lot. So if you're willing to do that, please leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and tell the YouTube algorithms that you like this video. All right, let's talk about what we did last time. So last time we had this piece of hickory here. Uh, I did a little spiral pattern at various speeds, and then I increased the RPM of the router and did it again and again, and I got some interesting results. So the results that I got really proved that the speed in which the machine is moving doesn't influence the cut quality as much as the RPMs of the router. And I thought this was really interesting because it's sort of counterintuitive uh, to all the formulas and all the advice that I've been given over the years. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to take these pieces of wood here that I've created uh, I have a piece of maple, I have some cherry, I have the same hickory that we have here, and some walnut. We're going to do some additional cuts, this time not a spiral pattern. I am going to do a regular circle uh, at different speeds and then adjust the RPM and do the test again and again and again. I'm going to try and replicate the same settings that I had for this to see if the results match on the hickory, which is kind of the control in this example, because I do have the same results here. So, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll see if these other hardwoods of various species have the same outcome as the hickory. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna cut over to Fusion 360. I'm gonna design something up and then we will stick this wood on the machine. We'll hold it down and we will run the tool pass and then compare the results. I think it's gonna be super fun and exciting. All right, let's go ahead and cut over to Fusion 360. All right, here we are in Fusion 360. I have literally spent the last hour or more, it's an hour and a half, fighting with Fusion to get it to do what I want to do. Long story short, I think the latest update has screwed up some copy and paste features where you used to be able to copy and paste things, and now you can't. So uh, regardless, I have what I was looking for here on the screen, so let me go ahead and dive into what I have done. So what you can see in front of you here are a bunch of uh, concentric circles on a variety of different wood types. So what I am going to do is do an engrave operation on each one of these concentric circles and then analyze the results. This is very similar to what I did for the last video, which I will link above if you have not already watched it. So I am gonna start with a spindle speed of one, the slowest spindle speed, and do a 40 inches per minute, 80 inches per minute, 150 and 200 inches per minute on the outer rings, and then do that for every single one of the wood types. And so we're gonna start here with the hickory, then move up to the maple, move over to the cherry, and then move down to the walnut. Now, obviously, the tool pass will dictate what order it actually gets cut in, and that's not really terribly important. So next, we will jump up to a spindle speed of 2.5 here, and that will go uh, on the lower right-hand side set of circles in order, and then a spindle speed of 4.5, which is the upper right hand side of these circles and then a spindle speed here of six which is going to be the upper left hand circles on the final product so i am going to go ahead and i am going to export this g code i am going to set up the wood on the machine back here i am going to grab some quick video of it doing its job and then we will walk you through the results so i'm super excited by this this is going to be fun all right let's get started
I've completed all the milling operations, so let's go ahead and walk through the results that I got. So, generally speaking, based off of these results, it looks like a relatively modest feed rate around 40 inches per minute and a relatively modest spindle speed is the most optimal setting for all of the wood species. So you can see here with the maple and the cherry, the walnut and the hickory gave really, really great results with those different settings. Now, I will say digging into the walnut a little bit, I got an awful lot of chipping and flaking here at the higher feed rates, really kind of regardless of which uh, spindle speed I had. Now I would say the 40 inches per minute at the 4.5 for walnut did give slightly better results than the 2.5, but if we wanted to make a general recommendation, I would definitely say the 2.5 is good enough for all of these woods. Now when we get into some of the higher spindle speeds, I did get some burning on the cherry and the maple, which is not entirely unexpected. If you do a lot of woodworking with a normal router, you know that the higher spindle speeds have a tendency to cause burning on both cherry and maple. Uh, so again, that was not unexpected necessarily, although it is the first time I've seen it with a CNC machine. Now, some other interesting results I got down here on the hickory at the highest spindle speed setting of six. Uh, I did get a just tremendous amount of tear out, which I was not expecting across the board at all feed rates. Now, I will say that the feed rate of 40 inches per minute maybe produced the least, <laughs> but it's still visible without a doubt. So I was not expecting that even in a little bit, but certainly down here at the 2.5 version, it is nice clean cuts across the board where 40 did produce the best results just like the rest of the woods. So now going back to the original, what I'll call the control uh, with the one 2.5 and four setting on the spindle and the 20, 40 and 80 feed rates, we could definitely see that it is the 40 set at four on the spindle speed gave the probably the best results. I will certainly say that the uh, 20, 40 and 80 on the four spindle speed for this hickory uh, produced great results comparatively to all the rest of them. Uh, and the slower you go, it seems to be actually producing better results. And these new results sort of back that up to a certain extent. Now I will say that the uh, 2.5 is actually producing better results than we saw here. Uh, at the spindle speed of 2.5, I think. But here on one, I did get some flaking at the high feed rates, which if we turn this board over, we can look at uh, these rings. This ring here is uh, 200 inches per minute, and this ring is 200 inches per minute. So there definitely is some flaking on this one at the spindle speed of four. Uh, the highest I went for this previous test was four instead of six. So this is probably comparatively the most close result here and here, and they are very similar. So the good news here is that we are getting consistent results across the board, across the previous test and the current test. And more importantly, we are getting similar results across wood species, which means we can use a general recommendation of the spindle speed of 2.5 and a feed rate around 40 inches per minute produces pretty decent results across all these different wood species. So that allows us to optimize our tool paths, um, you know, kind of for the general use case. And then if we want to get something specific, for example, for like the walnut, you want to use a slightly higher spindle speed, then we can do that. All right. Well, that was the quick run through of the results. I hope you found them compelling and let's just go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, well, that was a video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. It was quite challenging to make, but I think it has produced some very compelling results. So in summary, my testing across these four different wood species say that in general, a spindle speed around two to 2.5 with a feed rate around 40 inches per minute provides the most optimal results for most of the wood species here, which are the most common ones that I think we use in the hobbyist CNC area. So obviously you can twiddle with the feeds and speeds on your own to see if you can get different results. But I think for something like the Onefinity or other machines in its class, I think that spindle setting of two and the feed rate around 40 should be good for just about everything that we are working on. It produced just great results. All right, well, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for getting this far. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. 
If you didn't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but tell us why so we can make future videos better. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please consider doing so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this that become future videos. Once again, thank you for getting this far. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to be inspired. All right, well, I have been trying now for close to 40 minutes to get Fusion to do what I wanted to do. It refuses to do so. I am rebooting my computer <laughs> just to see if that will help anything. I am going to reboot, log back in, launch Fusion, see if I can get it to do what I want it to do. And we'll see. Why is it not moving it? Why is it not showing it to me? What is it doing? It didn't actually move it. Move. This guy. Why is it? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs>